Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I'm at Costco. You see the sign behind me? I'm here to get a tennis chicken. No, just kidding. Uh, I'm here because my buddy DePiche said there is a tennis racket here and you should test one out since you said you were gonna see if a Costco tennis racket was any good. Come with me and let's see if there is a tennis racket. Let's go. Guys, what do we got here? We got Roger earning his money from Wilson and Serena earning her money from Wilson because they're at Costco now, right? What is this? This thing looks like a new Ultra 100 and it even has the Ultra name on it, but it says comp. In other words, cheap. So ultra cheap is what that means, right? It looks like it's graphite though. Let's check it out over here. Let's see. So it's product number 1389396 if you guys are shopping online. And uh, it only comes in a size three, which is a three eighths. Lightweight 103 square inch head. It's got a protective bumper guard, yep. Okay, and a cover with it. All right. How much does it weigh? Right there. 270 grams, 9.5. My guess is that's unstrung. 16 by 20 string pattern, which is pretty unique. All right. And it does come with a full size cover. Guys, what do you think? Should I get it and test it out? Is it worth it? Is a $49.99 racket worth it from Costco? Let's buy and see. All right, guys. So back at the shop. Got my Costco racket. Before I get started, I want to do a quick shout out to our sponsor for this episode, Racket Aid. RacketAid.com. So if you live in one of those tennis deserts where... You can't find a stringer. There, there isn't a tennis shop anywhere near you uh, and you need racket strung. Well, check out Racket Aid. So it's kind of like a delivery service for stringing your tennis rackets. Well, it's not kind of, it really is. So instead of doing Grubhub and some of those other ones that drop off fried chicken to you like they do to me, um, they can actually drop off your finished strung tennis racket to you. So just go to RacketAid.com. They will send you an empty box that looks just like this. You put your rackets in here, tell them exactly what you want. They will come back strung with a brand new overgrip and perfectly strung for you to use. Now they've just started carrying Selinko. So you guys know I use Selinko Confidential 16L. So you tell them you want Selenko Confidential 16L at, well, if you want my attention, it's 48, okay? But they also have Torbite and Hyper-G. So test out the service. I've gone through it myself and it was easy squeezy, okay? They'll string up to three, four, five rackets for you at once and ship it back to you. Uh, within 24 hours. RacketAid.com. Check them out. All right. So, Costco racket. This is interesting how they package this thing. Um, they put a little zip tie so people can't steal the cover, right? To the cover. They put Fed in, in the front, obviously, right? The most marketable man in the universe. Uh, at Costco, fed at Costco. How do you how do you guys feel about that? They put this cool little rubber band thing on it. I don't even know if Wilson really produces that. Was that a hair tie? I think that's a hair tie. I should try it on my hair. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So it comes out like this. Got my trusty little cutter here. 
cut it off. Boop. There goes the thing. Okay, let me put the cover down. This is just a cheap old junior cover, I guess. Cheap old junior cover. But it has a strap, so that's worth something. Okay, let's look at the racket here. Wow. Guys, what does that look like to you? Right? The name is Ultra, but the racket is Ultra Comp. All right? Come over here for a second. Here's my Ultra that I carry in the store. Ultra 100, Ultra 100, not the Comp. So Comp stands for competition, right? Which I guess if you're a junior or USTA player, that's a 3.0, possibly 3.5, this can work in that kind of competition. But I don't know if you go any higher, this will be okay. But, um, but doesn't that look like that? I mean, close enough, right? Okay, 100% graphite. I believe this is 20% graphite. Yeah, we'll have to test it. Anyways, so, but this is endorsed by Fed, not Nishikori, okay? So they got a bigger name on this one. All right, so let me take this placard off. So this is more kind of, last year I think they did Serena. I missed out on that one. But I think it was like essentially the same racket as this. Okay. That looks pretty impressive, guys. If you didn't know what you were buying, you know, you could have just bought a regular Ultra and paid 200 bucks for it. Um, but, and it actually feels okay in terms of, uh, you know, there's a lot of weight out here. I can feel it. It's like out here. It's like heavy out here. All right. So let's uh, let's wait and balance and see what we get. Let me take the, the thing off. The uh, plastic off. Okay. Let me take a quick look at the... So the item number is 1389396, and there's the UPC code uh, if you want to buy this one. So the first thing I feel is this grip is better than the grips that they're putting on the good rackets. This is actually, man, this is throwback. It's a Wilson perforated cushionaire. This is worth going back in time. Um, 15, 20 years ago. These used to be in most of the rackets back in the day, like, like the Hammer Series, the Hyper Hammer Series. Um, these are actually way better grips than the crap they're putting on today, these days. So, wow, that's a big plus right there already. Um, let's put it on the uh, balance board and see where we balance out at. Oh, that's a pretty head heavy racket for being a light racket. Sheesh. Three fifty four. Three fifty four on that balance. So I'm just curious. Um, I grabbed one of these 100 lights, the Ultra 100 light older series, because um, this I believe will be as close as what I can get to this racket. Um, so let's do a comparison, okay? Let's balance this one out. Way head lighter. Should be right there. Three twenty five. Three twenty 
Gosh. Wow. Let's, uh, let's check out the rest of the specs. Okay, at the scale, let's weigh it up here. It says 9.5270 grams. My guess is that's unstrung. Two eighty six. Yep, that was unstrung weight. All right, so let's swing weight it. Three twenty eight. side we'll take the 100 light two ninety seven point five swing weight Okay, let's go analyze, guys. All right, guys, so let's analyze this Costco racket against this 100 Ultra Light, Ultra Light 100, um, last generation. All right, so the Costco racket is lighter. The Ultra Light is head lighter. That's a big number right there. A big number. It's really head heavy. We talking hammer time here. All right. Swing weight. That's a low number. That's a big number. So we got like hammer numbers here on a lighter racket. So what does that tell you? Okay. For those of you who know... From back in the late 80s into the 90s, um, hammers were the it racket. It was the number one selling racket. Um, everything was hammer. People still remember it today. But unless you're of that age, so I'm talking about age 40 and up, um, you remember this stuff. So what exactly was hammer technology? So it was a light racket overall with all the weight concentrated at the top. So basically a hammer, right? When you nail um, something in, you're using a hammer. So it's bam, 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 right? What's the heaviest part of a hammer? The head, right? So kind of the same concept with the racket. Heavy up top, you throw the racket at the ball. Basically it hammers the ball through. It finishes it up for you. Um, easy to play with right they they revolutionized um the rackets by just redoing the weight at the top so if you guys ever play with a, a hammer a wilson hammer of any type uh, you know what i'm talking about and this is what that feels like so light overall because it only weighs 286 grams but look at where it's balanced at right at the top concentrated in the head right they don't make rackets like this anymore um it's it's extremely rare i mean i don't like i don't have these kind of numbers on my wall like they don't make it uh so it's something that they just made for costco uh, let's take a look at some of the other numbers it's a 103 square inch head okay uh one point head heavy no racket or very well, i can't even think of one that's one point head heavy or even um even balanced uh range on the strings is 53 to 63 so string pattern is a 16 by 20. so this is definitely some type of a remade hammer because it even has pws on the sides look at this these sides there's perimeter weighting system that wilson is known for um, on the sides 
So I'm wondering if this is a full graphite racket or if it's some kind of a, usually when they say comp, it's, it's a composite. Uh, it either stands for composite or competition. Uh, so we'll have to see when I hit with it to see what it could be made out of. Um, it's factory strung, as you can see by that W, um, with probably Wilson synthetic gut is my guess. Yeah, it's Wilson. It's some kind of Wilson synthetic gut in here. Wilson Ultra. Wilson Ultra 16 is what I read. So, it probably was at maybe 57, 58. Uh, I don't know what it is now, but uh, we can definitely test it out. Uh, it feels good so far. I mean, it brings me back to home. It brings me back to 20 plus years ago. So um, I'm gonna take this racket out and hit with my, hey, Wilson guy, Coach Rob, who loves everything Wilson, uh, to see how it is. Okay, I'll see you on the court. We are on the court. I got my rotisserie chicken Costco racket that's called the Ultra Comp here today. Got my man, the Wilson man, Coach Rob, bleeding Wilson red right now. So he is ecstatic that we're gonna try a Wilson racket today. All right, stay tuned. All right, so speak about bleeding red. Coach Rob has changed to red here because he's so excited. Coach Rob, what'd you think of that Wilson Ultra Comp from Costco? You know, I, I was a little su suspect at first and uh, after hitting with it, it felt really good. And thought, you know, with the four and three eighths grip, which I think is what they make um, this one in, um, it felt good. It, it was lively, ball jumped off the racket, um, was way better than I was expecting. Yeah, so did it, what did it remind you of? To me, it reminded me of Hammer. Did that remind you of A hammer? little bit of Hammer, yeah, for sure. I know the colors are, um, you know, trying to be like Ultra the, 100. Ultra 100, <laughs> right, for sure, um, hence the name. But yeah, yeah no, I, for the price, can't beat it. Felt good, liked it. So, as I said, because coach, coach here said, you know, I would recommend this to 13 year old 12 year old transitioning into this racket would make a whole lot of sense and i would agree except that most of those kids aren't going to be four and three eights so coach rob who else would benefit from a racket like this you know i would say an adult looking to get into the game uh, maybe you want to pick it up for, uh, with covid reasons you want to get out and exercise and play um, looking just to pick up a, a starter racket um, would be a great start, um, a great starter racket for players looking to get into tennis. All right, guys. So I know a bunch of you guys are starting to play for the first time uh, or coming back to the game after years. I mean, I, I basically got people coming in to me and say, I haven't played for 20 years. I was like, yeah, you're not the only one. Everybody's been coming in and telling me that. So if you don't want to come and see me and you got a Costco card, right? There you go, okay? I understand that it's head heavy, but it actually works for this racket. Right. right? It, it's, it's easy to come through, easy to play with. So the only thing is you need a Costco card and you need to be a four and three eighths. All right, so I think a quarter would have been better, but three eighths is, is what they got right now. So I wanna point something else out to Coach Rob. Check out this grip. It's a cushion air perforated. What year does that bring you to? Um, the 90s. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was the number one grip in the 90s. Uh, they're bringing it back, you know. So 
we love this grip. We love this grip. I don't know what they're putting on this new stuff, but this grip makes this racket too. So this package, as long as you're a 3 8 right, would be right for you. Get a pair of these, call it a day, right? You'll always have good rackets to play with. All right, the Wilson Ultra Comp. I'm not sure what, does that mean competition or competitor or uh, composite? I, I would go with all of the above. <laughs> Wilson Ultra Comp at your Costco, $49.99. Get it while you can. I want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for hanging out with me today and playing with the Roast Deer Chicken Costco Racket. Okay, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.